My name is Alice. I'm failing the course I passed because I refuse to have sex with my lecturer. My father raped me. Yes, he raped me. The girls are tired. They really don't want to be caged anymore. You know, they, they feel like they need to rise up uh, and challenge this issue in this country. Nobody wants to talk about it, especially with the mothers. We don't want really to talk about it because we think that, number one, the girls will be stigmatized. Maybe her father raped her, or maybe her uncle raped her, and nobody went to marry her. So what? Does it mean that if the father does that, we should leave him, so that at least the next girl that is coming up will do the same thing? I mean, this lecturer guy has been on my case from the first year I got into school. And the sad part is, the girl he, he, he wants is totally oblivious about this situation. And he said it outrightly, yo, if you can't see to it that this girl gives in to my advances, then you would keep failing the course. Okay, I get you are trying to be, to be conversational, but when you start involving my private, your breast, your nyash, and swinging your hands around my neck, that is, that is harassing me. How do you ever stand up against your, your lecturer, wherever it is you are? Because most of the time, the people who have the power, the ability, the audacity to sexually violate, harass, or um, take advantage of a young girl is somebody who is in a position of authority. I've thought of dropping out. I'm tired. You don't understand. My project is on a full stop right now because I'm scared of my supervisor. Because I'm not even ready to have sex with him. Me. I wasn't forgiven. <laughs> in fact, she blamed me for what happened and he connived and locked me up. Do you know right now I feel like killing this lecturer in particular? This girl have actually graduated from this school and I'm still here in the school. Some of them even ask for the recorder on your body and sometimes they're not, because I entered this office and it was like, you are recording Abby. Where is your recorder? And I was not recording because I was scared. When does no become yes? Please tell me. When does no become please? I'm, I'm thinking about it. In one exam I was writing, one time, a lecturer tried taking me. Data on these issues need to be collected. Every time a student reports, that data should be recorded and, and universities in all tertiary institutions should be required to publish that data every year. Maybe Marshall asks you the answer. If you attack me and I know you are about to rape me, of course, I know sensitive parts to attack you so that you get it off me. When we analyze the root cause of their mental health challenges, a lot of times it also points out to sexual violence. To every rapist out there, you will be caught. And if you think you are clever, you are not. Because winter is coming. <laughs>